Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how you can send messages using Firebase Cloud Messaging using Python. So first, go to your Firebase console, select your project. I am inside test project. You can click on see all projects to see all your projects and then select your project. Inside your project, click on the settings button here and click on project settings. Go to service accounts, click on generate new private key, click on generate key and your key will be downloaded. Now we need to move this key into our project folder. So click on this browse button. I'll copy this and paste it inside my project here. Okay, so I have this project key. I'll just rename this so that it's easier to copy. I'll just write firebase key dot JSON. Okay, so I have my key here. Now let's write Python code to send notifications. So create a new file. I'll just call it main.py. And in this, first, we need to import Firebase admin. So I'll write import Firebase admin. Now, since I have not installed this, what I need to do is we need to install Firebase admin. To do that, click on terminal, click on new terminal. If you have a virtual environment, activate the virtual environment and install this inside that virtual environment. But I'll just install it globally for now. So I'll type pip install Firebase underscore admin. Hit enter and the installation will begin. Okay, so now the installation of Firebase admin module is successfully complete. So let's create a function that will send Firebase notifications. So I'll just create a function that, that is called def send notification. Now you can call this function to send notification. Write a log, print sending notification. Now to send the notification, first we need to initialize the credentials. So we have downloaded this credentials here, right? We need to initialize these this credential. So to do that, just type cred equals to credentials. Now we need to import the credentials too. So what we'll do is we'll do from Firebase admin import credentials. Okay, so we've imported this too. And this is how you initialize the credentials. Now we need to enter the full path of our service account key. So what we'll do is we'll just do copy path. First right click on your key and then click on copy path go to your file and paste it here so now we have the full path now since we are on windows change this to full quotes and enter double slashes here as path we need to enter double slash because if you just enter one slash this thing is considered an escape key so we'll just have to enter two double slash so we have the path of our key and now let's send notification so what we need to do is we need to do Firebase admin dot initialize app using the credentials that we have just initialized. So now we have the credentials and we have the Firebase admin initialized. Now we can send the notification. So first to send the notification, we need to initialize, we need to import something else called messaging. And now let's create a message that we will send to all the devices or single device according to your use case. So the message will be messaging dot message. Okay. And then notification messaging dot notification we have a title and a body so in the title you can just write notification title and in the body you just write notification body this can be longer so this is what is shown in your device notifications now you can send additional data to your app you just have data equals to now this is a dictionary so you can just have keys here so let's say the score is 850 and the time is 245. So yeah, we can have this data also with the title and the body of the notification. This data will be received by your application and it can be used by your application any way you want. Now, who to send this notification to or this message to? So first, you can send this to a token, a device token. Okay, so a device token can be a user. So for example, if someone sends you a message in Instagram, that notification is sent only to you. So this is user specific token. Now this has to be gotten from the user's device. Now this is unique for each device for each user. So if you send a notification to one user, you need to use token. Now if you want to send notification to a topic, let's say there's a discount somewhere in Amazon that is uh, applicable to all the users, you send it to a topic that is all or whatever topic you have created. So this will be sent to everybody. Now you can send to specific topics or you can uh, topic list or topic options also. Now going through all of those is uh, quite exhaustive and it's beyond the scope of this tutorial. But to send notifications, this is what you can do. So if you want to send it to a topic, you just use topic. 
if you want to send it to a user, you just use token and enter user token here. Okay, so now we have a function that can be used to send notifications. Now you just need to call this function. So if you call this function, let's say uh, send notification, this function will be called, you will be printed send notification, sending notification, and this message will be sent, but we have not yet sent this message. So what we'll do is we'll do messaging.send, what to send? This message. So what do we do? We first initialize our Firebase admin using the credentials, and then we create a message object that contains notification title, notification body, and the data you need to send. And we, we also include to whom we need to send this notification to a specific user or to a topic. And then finally, we send this message. And we have the function ready. Now just call this function. Let's try to run this. Okay, so when I run this, I get this error. The registration token is not a valid registration token because this is not in the valid format. So to actually send this, you need to get the actual notification token for our user. So let's try to send this to a topic. Let's run this again. And the notification is successfully sent to this topic. So this is how you can send notifications using Firebase. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 